हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स कंटिन्यूइंग आर डिस्कशन ऑफ बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस फॉर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग ऑफ चार्ट्स वी आर टर्निंग आर अटेंशन फॉर टू लाइन चार्ट दिस लाइन चार्ट रिप्रेजेंट द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट ऑटोमोबाइल प्रोडक्शन फॉर टॉप फाइव प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लांट एंड एट एक्स एक्सिस देर इज अ कॉन्टिन्यूस वेरिएबल विच रिप्रेजेंट टाइम टाइम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डेट and at y uh, axis there is a production quantity that is represent numeric value so there are multiple different line for different sites each line represent time and year state and production quantity so this represent three variables and which are continuous in nature this is the main difference between line and chart line charts are really useful for larger data sets bar charts are good for comparison but line chart is best for identifying time trends so we can see that this one is representing three quantity time quantity and the state so each line representing three variable simultaneously so this is a automobile production for top 5 producing plant for the state of south carolina which is represented by blue ohio by red michigan by green california by purple and virginia by yellow so what we can see we can see the comparison of all five production which have maximum state of michigan has maximum production in all the years and in initial year from 2009 to up to 12 state of ohio has minimum production and in later on years state of virginia has minimum production over the time so this is the main difference between bar chart and line chart line chart represent information with time where is the bar chart is use really useful for comparison of two or two comparative statements so line charts are really helpful when you want to analyze the trends over time line charts can be used with a continuous data set over a long time period where the data set has many data points and it emphasizes on the flow or continuous nature of the data which is visualized and the main advantage of this power bi allows line and column charts to be combined in a single visual this is also a main important point in excel excel can do even same thing what the best practice we should follow for line charts we should use solid lines rather than dotted lines as far as possible we should not plot more than 4 5 lines per chart and time axis should always run from left to right time interval should be equal in size it should not be discontinuous or one is back one have the different value and the other time interval should have different value so the axis range should allow all lines values to be displayed these are some best practice you should follow for creating a line chart now we are moving towards to pie charts and pie charts are ideal for identifying composition and spatial movement in time it represent it gives the information in the form of a circle that's why this is named as pie charts and in this in this uh, chart we are representing we are showing global sales by reason for different reason we have for different reason for which we are representing global sales it's having pie charts are useful for representing whole value or percentage value pie charts are really important when you want a very quick visual and pie chart consists of some slices and some angle in the circle you can have overall view that which one have maximum value in this state we can see in this uh, diagram we can see 
नॉर्दर्न अमेरिका हैव मैक्सिमम सेल्स एंड जेपी जापानी जापान सेल्स हैव नॉर्थ जापान अदर सेल्स हैव लीस्ट नंबर एंड यूरोपियन यूनियन हैज सेकंड हाईएस्ट सो वी कैन सी बाय रिप्रेजेंटेशन जनरल व्यू हाउ मच व्यू इट शुड बी जनरल सो पाई चार्ट आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर रिप्रेजेंटिंग होल वैल्यू और परसेंटेज वैल्यू इट्स वी कैन नॉट we cannot show exact value by pie chart so northern america is represented by this one part japan is by gray color and european union by pink and other sales are is something about cream color so we this is giving information about different sales how pie charts should be used and how we should use it, it is used to represent composition how Mean different part makes a whole. Several parts makes up a whole. It is also useful for when percentage of each category need to be compared rather than absolute value. Bar charts are preferable for comparison value, and tree maps are for comparison for composition. And it is very hard to interpret the angles in a pie chart. So these are not useful for comparison or composition, but these are useful for just a uh, just a quick view. There are some best practices which we should follow for uh, pie charts. Make sure that all section of the pie add up to hundred percent, and use only when you have just a few categories. Like more than it should not be useful for more than four five section of the pie. You should make sure the category value are not identical, very close. Post section where each is not of twenty five percent of the pie. And the next chart is scatter chart. Scatter chart has two continuous variable. Always, it's used to visualize or highlight point in two dimensional space. It is also Uh, useful some scatter chart also include pattern line here here so it has a uh, two continuous variable here clicks and views are two continuous variable which we can uh, represent and we can see every point is showing a different information like point here point here is showing 150 clicks and 1 million views similarly point here is uh, showing 200 clicks and more than 2 million views and less than 2.5 so each point is giving information about itself what is that point and we can see by different point like uh i think this one have more clicks in all the information we are having this one have more uh, clicks for more than 400 clicks and this one have maximum views more than 3 million views so each and every point here in the scatter plot is talking about only two variables and it's giving information individually so scatter plots are used to represent the relationship between two variables it also allows us to interpret the function form of the relationship like we can also represent uh, we can also view in the form of linear exponential logarithmic non linear or independent so it is also useful to represent data distribution or cluster that may be present in the data you can see where is the cluster represent maximum here after that there is only a few points so it is also useful representing of clusters it is also helpful in identifying outliers points or anomalies in the data like this is the chart and we can see here is a trend we can see there are few points which we can consider these may be some outliers we will check like here are the points and here we are thinking this may be a outlier so it is also helpful in identifying outlier points or anomalies in the data where may be error we can check by pattern so one more kind of chart is bubble chart bubble chart is useful for representing more than two variable it is it's also we can say extension of last one chart plot scatter plot how 
every bubble represent the size every bubble uh, giving the information about quantity and this x is giving the information about price and this x is giving out about the information about highway mpg horsepower so this is a scatter plot about price for highway prices and this is also including uh, uh, horsepower so horsepower is giving by the size so we can uh, see there are different uh, different type of cars uh, symbol are used means convertible cars are used by this hatchback is this sedan cars are represented by yellow and wagon by this and hard top by this so we can see convertible has maximum highway mpg and i guess hard top has or hatchback has maximum price so we can see that we can represent more than two variables in form of bubbles here because each bubble because each bubble will represent the quantity so there are some practices best practices for scatter bubble charts relationship should be clearly interpretable we should use size or color to incorporate in additional dimension starting axis should be uh, at zero to represent data accurately and for bubble charts represent the dimension using area and not diameter or bubble so i hope you got how to how we should follow the sun rules for creating bubble chart for line chart and uh, where we have to uh, use scatter or bubble or line or bar means line chart for continuous bar chart for comparative analysis scatter plot for two dimension bubble plots bubble charts for more than two variables so i hope you understood basically which one chart should be uh, allowed where and what are the some rules we should follow for different kind of chart for different kind of variables okay i hope you got the point please like and subscribe my channel thank you friends thank you so much